My name is Marna Miller and I am a porn actress, a YouTuber, a writer and so many other things that one day I'm gonna get crazy. In this video I'm gonna show you how is the day in the life of a porn star. A day in the life of a porn star. That sounds very cool. Why? Why I'm doing this? There are a lot of stereotypes regarding pornography and regarding porn actresses. So I wanted to show you how is a day in my life when I have a shoot. Since I wake up until I come back to the house and I what happens in between. So yeah, I really, really hope you like it. Yeah. We are here with probably my most anticipated guest of the day, okay? <laughs> Mine as well. Yeah. She is a performance artist, she's an adventurous, and she is a very provocative adult movie star. This is Armana Miller. Armana. Welcome to the show. Armana. 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 Give it up for her. Armana. Armana. Yeah. Amarna. 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 Yes. Amarna Miller. Como Amarla a ella, pero Amarna. Oh, okay. so I easy. always miss, listen, I don't even pronounce my own name correctly, so I hope you're not offended. Amarna. Ta Amarna. You take us through it this time, oh, Bruno. Oh, okay, let's do it. Uh, so we do a little tradition. <laughs> On three, we're going to sit down, uh -huh. and you're going to say, wow, and we're all oh, going to do it together. Okay. So ready? Yes. One, two, three. Wow! wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. So, Humberto, please do the honors of the first question. No, you know what? I think that you deserve to give the first question. Fine. So, I loved um, reading about you and doing mm -hmm. all the research on what you do. To me, is obviously like a very different world from what I'm used to. Um, but tell us a little bit about this feminist view that you have on, on your own job, which is the, the acting, mm -hmm. the porn acting. Mm, well, I believe that um, obviously pornography is a subject that has to be with women mm -hmm. um, and feminist uh, talks about what matters to women, so both uh, subjects are ob obviously related. Mm -hmm. uh, apart from that, I believe that um, during hundreds of years women have been told what to do with their sexuality, how to live their lives, how to live their relationships, and how to organize their links with people. So um, I think that for the first time in a ton, a, a hundreds of years, we have the power to be ourselves, to do whatever we want with our bodies, with yes. our sexualities, and with uh, whatever we want to do. And it's time to do it. Talk about, fem what is it, feminine liberation? Mm -hmm. O sea, ya es la liberación femenina en su máxima expresión, donde mm -hmm. puede hacer lo que se le pegue la gana y que nadie, <laughs> quien le guste que bueno y a quien no también. Can, Exacto. I want to play devil's advocate a little bit. Because <laughs> a lot of times, and not you, you're, you are the embodiment of liberty, whether it's feminist liberty, human liberty, whatever. So I, I'm just in love with your personality. Uh, but labels, I always kind of play devil's advocate. I've, mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of stuff that's called feminist porn. Uh -huh. And I got to be honest with you, the only real differences are subtle lighting, a little bit more of a storyline, mm. more foreplay, mm -hmm. and not as focused on tight shots of penetration. Uh -huh. But at the end of the day, <laughs> it kind of seems like the same kind of hot sex that you're going to see in a lot of other pornography, no? Well, it's mm. porn. What am I missing? What am I missing? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Can I answer in Spanish? Yes, how do I? Because I feel like I'm speaking better in Spanish. Well, it seems that for many years there has been a problem, which is that there has been porn for women and porn for men. And this terminology has two problems. The first is that we talk about porn for men, porn for women, and we visibilize a lot of groups that are in the middle, like, for example, the group of queer, transsexual, intersexual, that also deserve a vote and a vote within what is the representation of sex. And then, on the other hand, as you said, dices, cuando se habla de porno para mujeres y porno para hombres, a las mujeres se nos cataloga como nos gusta el porno romántico, sí. nos gustan eh, las cosas suaves, el sexo sí. romántico, mientras que a los hombres les gustan los eh, planos de penetración y las sí. cosas como súper fuertes. Sí. Cuando lo que define la construcción de nuestro deseo y nuestra sexualidad son nuestras vivencias, nuestros gustos y otras tantísimas cosas. Mm. Así que a mí no me gusta hablar de esa denominación, no me gusta hablar de Yo porno para contigo. mujeres. Yo estoy contigo. A la verdad, mira, hay muchos hombres que les gustan el, el, los pornos que tienen eso, que tiene más sentido, que es lo más sensible. So, I, I'm with that. And I hate to, to, to cut that conversation short, but I gotta get to the whole thing with living in the oh. van because we only have a little bit Wait a minute, wait a minute. I wanna know, okay, girl. So, yeah, we Dino, de todos los hombres que yeah. tú te has acostado oh, en yeah, cámara, ¿cuál es el que coge más rico, carajo? <laughs> Damn it, let me know. Me encanta. That is me to date. Uh, yeah. uh, Pues es que no tengo favoritos. Esto no. es como decir cuál es cuál es tu hijo favorito. Pues no sé, he hecho muchas escenas, me, me gustan muchas. ¿Y no puedo elegir uno. ¿Estás de acuerdo con esto todavía? Sí. sí. ¿Tienes no. novio ahora o tengo, tenías? Tengo, tengo pareja, sí, okay. desde hace ya años. Pero es una relación poliamorosa, como tú has dicho. Exacto, muy bien, así me gusta. ¿Tú tienes Estoy novia informado. también o otra pareja? No en estos momentos, en okay. otros momentos he tenido varias parejas simultáneas, oh. pero ahora mismo estoy únicamente con wow. una persona. ¿Do you guys all live in the van together? No, in the van it's me alone. Explain the whole van thing. Oh, yeah, you, you really want to talk about oh, the van. Oh, 
Um, I find it completely amazing. Puedes decir en español si quieres sí. o que te venga mejor. Ah, uh -huh. hacemos ahí el Spanglish. Eh, pues sí, básicamente hace pues, como seis meses o así eh, empecé a pensar en la idea de crear un canal de YouTube y lo que no tenía muy claro era de qué manera podía enfocarlo y qué, qué podía hacer. Uh -huh. eh, la idea de eh, vivir en mi coche, yo no tengo un coche normal, tengo una furgoneta gigantesca, una GMC Safari del 99, uh -huh. o sea, me refiero a que no es un coche pequeñito. Pero toda la idea de empezar a hablar de sostenibilidad, de cómo reducir nuestro eh, huella en el medio ambiente, exacto, uh -huh. footprint, eh, pues estaba en mi cabeza. Y de alguna forma, para enseñar a mis, a mis seguidores que podemos vivir con muchísimas menos cosas de las que estamos acostumbrados, empecé a plantearme el, el, ¿qué, qué pasa si estoy durante un mes viendo mi furgoneta y se lo enseño a la gente para que vean que un 99% de las cosas que tenemos son lujos y nuestros problemas en general son problemas del primer mundo. Mira, that's amazing. Well, finish your thought, because I'm, I'm, I'm getting the time, but I want to say this. No, I want to say this. I want to say this. I want to say this before we leave. I want to say that I think that we're missing an opportunity and that to have around longer in front of their blog. So I want you to come back on this show, okay? Yes. When we get some new episodes, because a lot of us are very interested in a lot of things you have to say. Thank you for being here, by the way. Where can people find out more about you? In my YouTube channel, which is Amarna Miller, very, very easy. And also, especially in Instagram and Twitter. Same name, Amarna Miller. A M A N. No, I don't know. Amarna Miller. Well, we'll run it for you.